Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I will show you uh, how to install Kitlogger Pro on Android phones. I have a phone Samsung Galaxy J5 with Android 6.0. What I need to install Kitlogger Pro? It is uh, comfortable to have a barcode scanner but so it is not secured but it is more easy if I have this barcode scanner I can install Kitlogger Pro more easy and faster to download Kitlogger Pro I need to open download page of Kitlogger Net server first I need to log in my user account I need to have professional subscription because only for professional profiles Kidlogger Pro applications are accessible. And here I can download Kidlogger Pro application for Android. Actually, the latest version is 1.6.86. This version provides to manage it from the server. We also could log in from the phone into our account and download the application using download button. To make it easy, we launch barcode scanner and scan the barcode. We'll get a link and download the application using this link. Let's find the folder with downloaded application. Let's uh, click Extract. Launch Pro Agent application. The new name of the application is System Android. Click Next, Install and Open. In this version, there is a configurating window which allows us to configure all the permissions. Click Allow Usage Data Access and switch System Android on. Press back and click Allow Administrative Access. And click activate and go back click install support android it is an additional module it was named before tagback ts now it has changed its name to support android it helps us to record the keystrokes and web addresses it also restarts kidlogger pro application if it was stopped by system or another application now we have to activate support android it automatically opens this accessibility. We have to find support Android and make it active. Next option connect to server. Click on your account and write here your email address you used uh, for the registration on kidlogger.net server. The connection is successful. Go back and click hide the application icon. In a few seconds this icon disappears. 
it's done. Now the application is hidden, all the models are activated and the application is connected to your account. On the server, on the dashboard page appears a virtual device. This version of Kidlogger Pro can be managed remotely. It is more easy and you don't need to change it on phone. Open settings page. And choose your device from the list of connected devices. Now you can change the options. Not all the options are in Keylogger Pro application. For example, daily time limit is for simple application for Android. Keylogger Pro doesn't have it. The upload interval we can reduce to one minute. All the options are optimized by default. However, we can change any option if we don't need a feature or we can change, for example, the length of sound recording. Here is a secret phone number. We can call from this number to our child's phone to hear the surrounded sound. It will be not a translation, but recording only. When internet connection appears, this recorded file will be sent to server so we could hear it. For example, I can input here my second phone number. To keep the records for five days. Sometimes we need to keep them for more long period. For example, if our child goes on the holidays. Now we can click save settings. When will the settings be applied to the phone? Let's launch Kidlogger Pro. It can be launched by dialing a secret code. Open its settings. Surrounded sound recording. The settings from server haven't been applied yet. They can appear during an hour. If we don't want to wait, click more and choose get config. Now we can open the settings again in surround sound recording, the number uh, has appeared. Let's check in. Here is my phone with that number. Let's call to child's phone. As we can see, the call doesn't go on.
it couldn't be performed because it's only a beep, a sign to start recording the sounds around the child's phone. And now this phone is recording the surrounded sound. We cannot hear the sounds from our phone because the call doesn't go on. That should be. Let's wait for a while after the launch KidLogger Pro and see what it has recorded. As we can see, here are the system notifications. The KidLogger was stopped and started by the system. Why the recording can be stopped or started by system? Because the monitoring works in the background and it has low priority and it can be stopped by system anytime. To avoid it we have uh, to open the settings of the phone and find the power saving and memory optimizing services. Click on battery, detail, click on system android, and turn off. It means this program will work anyway even if the battery is low. But KidLogger Pro is started usually by TalkBack TS module, which is now named Support Android. Let's see how our programs look in the list of installed applications. These are our two programs, System Android and Support Android. It's not possible to delete System Android because Support Android closes this window. even if we turn off the support android in settings accessibility. And if we try to uninstall system android, it is not possible to delete it because it is in the list of device administrators. We will open security administrations and turn it off. So we made some changes to be more difficult um, to delete the monitoring application. Let's see the result of the monitoring. Now we can see the messages about the stopping don't appear. It is information. Uh, the sound has been recorded from the microphone. To find this file, click on audio uh, list tab. Click folder of today and tap on the 
file. As you can hear, the, the recording of surrounded sound has been executed. Let's walk through the internet. But KidLogger cannot record the web addresses now because support Android uh, was switched off. Let's open the settings accessibility and turn on the support Android. Let's open web browsers, YouTube. Now we can launch WhatsApp, Viber messengers. And let's see now what is in the log in KidLogger Pro application. You can see web addresses, YouTube descriptions. WhatsApp messages. and the information we saw in Viber. A text. The other possibilities are the same as before. Photos, calls. The same as in previous versions. Let's check it. As we can see, the call has been written into audio file. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, write in comments. If something is not clear, you can use our support form. Goodbye.